everyone. Welcome back to Apples and Tiaras. So today is the day after Christmas and um, today we're going to be taking Temple Tina, my, one of my class pets, to the vet. Um, so I realized I haven't checked in with on YouTube in a really long time. Like I think it's been at least four months since I last posted. But I'll be completely honest, I haven't really felt inspired to vlog or post anything, especially school related, just because um, work's kind of tough right now. And I think that's true for all teachers everywhere. So I don't need to explain because all of you are feeling the same things that I'm feeling. So I'm gonna let that just rest. <laughs> um, but an update on Temple Tina. So, um, if you guys are new, um, Temple Tina was or is um, my class pet. She's a little rat and she's coming close to about three years of age. Um, I've had her for two and a half years. And, um, but when I got her, she was probably five months old. So that just means that she's pretty close to being three. Um, and if you know much about rodents or rats, uh, rats typically live between three to four years. Um, kind of just depending on like if they get any health problems or um, vlogging baby, um, or just lots of different variables. Um, so Temple Tina is pretty close to three years old um, and she has developed a few tumors. Um, and I did lots of research and, um, and I've been kind of watching them. They have been growing um, and spreading. And if you know much about rats, they are very prone to tumors or abscesses is what they call them. They're very common, like 90% of female rats get them. Um, they can be benign. They can live totally happy lives with tumors. It just depends on how big they get and or if they spread. So Tina has about five tumors, two of which are really large and are starting to like protrude. I don't really feel like I want to show them to you because they just look really bad. Um, one of them is probably the size of a ping pong ball and it's like down by her back right leg. Um, and then the other one is probably, I would say about this big, um, probably the size of a good sized line. Um, and I've been hesitant to take her to a vet because one, I just don't have the money to be spending on a rat um, for like surgery or like draining or anything like that. I just don't have the money for that. Um, you know, I'm a teacher and we already struggle <laughs> financially. Um, so I've been kind of not, I've been not wanting to take her, but it's getting to the point now where the tumors are so big that she's having a hard time walking. She can't really climb up into her little hammock anymore. Um, she just looks really uncomfortable. So I'm thinking that today is the day to take her to the vet. Um, and because she's older, I think it might be time for her to just go up to rat heaven, if you know what I mean. So it's a really sad day. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be the outcome, but I'm gonna ask the vet to be completely honest with me. If, if she's suffering and she's miserable, then that's what we're gonna do. Um, you know, she's lived a really, really long, happy, loving life. And, and for that, I'm very grateful. Um, so it is what it is, but today's gonna be kind of sad. I don't know why I put mascara on. That was kind of stupid because I'm probably gonna cry. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna show you Temple Tina and, and we'll go from there. All right, so Micah is here with me in the car. <laughs> um, 
and I've been crying because I'm sad. But we've got both the girls loaded up and we're gonna head that direction. <laughs> Thanks Micah for coming with me. Micah just lost a little pet last week, so she's gonna be my rock today. <laughs> Cause you're a strong little person, you know that? All right, let's do it. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. I'm a little, I'm going to zoom in. All right, so here's Teeny. Peach. You can kind of see over here her tumors. This is two of them right here. They've gotten really big. Oh, baby girl. She still seems to be in good spirits, but we just don't know how much pain she's in. Oh my God. <laughs> so we're just gonna, we're gonna help her go peacefully. It's a humane thing to do. Mm -hmm. That's the, and then while you're holding her too, it's less scary. Yeah. My mom came today mm -hmm. as well. And mm -hmm. Micah. Rat stash. My emotional support team. Yeah. I got a rat stash. Yeah, you guys can kind of see down here. It's just, it's just not good. So we're just gonna do what's best for our little sweet girl. I got a rat stash now. Yeah. Please watch the monster peach. <laughs> Look at, see, she's scratching them. Yeah. Uh -huh, I saw her doing that too. I felt like you had your skin pulled thin. I love when she does this. I know. He's so cute. Her little toy. <laughs> it's toasty in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we just saw the vet, and we're gonna go ahead and um, let Teeny go to sleep today. The vet said that if we did medications or surgeries that we could prolong her life maybe a few weeks, um, potentially a, like a couple more months. But if we don't do surgery, it's not gonna be very long and the surgery is like probably close to $1,500. And I just don't have that. So we're gonna send Teeny across the Rainbow Bridge today. Here's a little thing, 11 tips to extend your rat's life. You want me to read it to you? All right, so Teenie's been sedated. She won't even open and close her eyes. They're just open. And they're gonna take her back. The vet said that she'll be so sedated she won't even know. She won't feel it. She won't know that I'm there or not there. Her eyes are like, they won't close. They're just stuck open. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah, she's a little limp noodle. I'm gonna say goodbye to Teeny. Little oh, Teeny. Oh. Teeny's gone. <laughs> Peach, what are you doing? The doctor said she wouldn't feel anything. She wouldn't know that I wasn't with her because she was so sedated. They gave her to us in a little box. So I sent her with my parents up to Prescott to bury her. 
Um, and then the next time we go up there, we'll do something. Um, but we're going to bury her under the fruit trees at my mom and dad's new home. Peach is still kicking in there. Uh, she's I don't know early. that she understands yet, but she's going to be lonely. So I have to think about um, either getting another rat or um, what to do because Peach will probably be really sad if she's alone. So. Um, so yeah, that's the really hard part about having pets, <laughs> little animals, is that you do have to let them go when they suffer, and, um, I didn't want to see her suffering anymore, so.